Hi, I'm Matt Nyer. I'm a senior applications engineer from Aquino, and we're here to talk about an M483. So, uh, customers approach me and they want to be able to capture data from our tool data page. Uh, that is what the M483 is all about. So we're gonna give you a quick example here of the structure and how to use an M483 to capture a tool length for a certain tool on the tool data page. When we look at the M483, what we have here is, it's a very specific format, okay? So you'll see this format. Now, where do we get these formats? That's where you're gonna to go to your M code list, your M code book that came with your Makino machine. And if you look up M483, so when we look to do an M483 and we're looking to capture data from our tool data page, okay, right now I'm going to look to grab the actual H geometry here from tool 95, okay? So we're going to use a format here. And once again, if we go to our M code list, they're going to give you examples in that M code list. It's going to give you a big chart that's going to show you what all these values mean. So for this example here, pound 100 equal one, that means I want to grab tool data. Yes, we can use M483 to grab a lot of different, different information. Right now we're focusing on the tool data. So we're going to make that a one. Pound 101, that is the pipe number right now, or it could be a program tool number. So we're looking at 95. Pound 102 is the type of data that I want to capture. This 103, if we compared it to the chart in the M code book, that's going to point to our H geometry, okay? M4083 instigates the function. G4.1 is just a cancel buffer so that because we're trying to populate variables, we want to make sure that the look ahead doesn't get ahead of the machine so we get the proper values. The results all come back in pound 110, which is a local variable. It's volatile. When you hit reset, it will be gone. Hence, I put an MO in there so that we can check this value after we run the cycle. You will notice that I have a divide by 10,000 here because when those values come out of the tool data page, there is no decimal point. So you will have to do a little bit of math for it to make sense in your macro variable. So if we come up, we reset and we run this, okay? We hit start, we stop at the MO. We're gonna go to our macro variable list, right top right of the screen, macro variable list. We're gonna go to 110. You're gonna see we got our 80, which if we go back to our tool data page, there's our 80 from our H geometry. So that's a quick way to capture any of this data. Now, once again, that format will change by those pound variables. They're what drive, what information I pull out of the control. So you'll have to look at your M code list or talk to your Makino uh, engineering support, and they can help you capture that value that you need.